This is how I line drawers with no measuring. Take your paper, your contact paper, put one edge against the drawer on one side and an edge against the back side right there. This edge fold it over. That will be your cut. Since this drawer is curved, I'm going to do this cut first. And this is just so I don't cut too far. I'm going to cut this folded edge where I marked it. And I'm going to leave a little bit extra here for this curve. It's easier to cut it that way, even if you have a square drawer. So, placing the paper back down in here, and then I'm going to use a marker. The reason I use a marker is because a pen, it's pretty easy to poke through the paper. So I use a marker so that I don't do that. And this is a curved drawer, obviously. Then I'm going to cut right down the middle of this marker line. So we're going to start to apply this in one corner. So I'm going to peel one corner back and try to square this up as best I can in this corner. You never want to peel off too much of this backing at once because it becomes a big piece of mess. And you can lift it back up if you don't have it right. So there's my corner right here. Next, you're going to need a washcloth. The first thing to line up is this back edge across here. I'm going to use a washcloth for a lot of this. It's a dry washcloth. First thing is to peel off backing just about to right here, straight across like that. And we're going to place this back edge against the back of the drawer. This is where, if you have this lined up, you should be good for the rest of the drawer. If you don't line this up right against the back, it's going to be crooked as you come forward, and you'll have to start over. So you want this line very lined up with the back of the drawer. So 
going to slowly peel this liner off. And as I work out the wrinkles, I'm going to work them from the center out to the edges. Peel a few more inches back. It's a lot easier with the washcloth than your, just your hand. It covers a lot more area. It works a lot better. There it is. Please check out my other videos. I have a lot of videos on furniture painting and tips, tricks, and hacks for home and furniture. Thanks for watching.